promise and I share is more than just physical. I don't believe you. You were really just in it for the high and the attention. Well, is that how you feel or felt about me? Like it's, it's nothing personal. Okay, I mean, I like you, Sunday. No, I get it. You and RJ are a couple. Explosive showdowns and unexpected alliances, bold and beautiful drama unveiled. Hope and Steffi's feud hits a fever pitch, secrets revealed at Sheila's memorial, and romance on the horizon? Welcome to Latest Soapy, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of The Bold and the Beautiful, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. The Bold and the Beautiful, Hope promises Steffi will regret this, human wrecking ball falling. According to the spoilers for Friday, March 29's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Brooke Logan and Rich Forrester discussed Thomas Forrester's choice to split from Hope Logan due to her lack of devotion to marriage. Ridge didn't think Steffi Forrester should be held accountable for everything because Brooke was only trying to protect her brother, despite the fact that Brooke backed Hope and bashed Steffi. In the middle of their children's problems, Brooke and Ridge were able to have some romantic moments, but Brooke still thought Steffi attacked Hope at the first chance she saw. Hope, meanwhile, became enraged with Steffi for satisfying her demands and then showing off how successful she was. Hope felt that Steffi had gone too far and over the line. Steffi reiterated her opinion that Hope shouldn't have led Thomas on and that she was just using him as a plaything. Hope ridiculed Steffi for attempting to disgrace her by acting as the immorality police and defended her connection with Thomas. Hope attempted to smack Steffi after she made a comparison between her and her mother and attacked Brooke's past, but she was blocked instead. After they had a disagreement on Hope's intentions toward Thomas, Hope accused Steffi of being callous for destroying something exquisite. Because of Steffi, Thomas and Hope would never know what their future held. Hope maintained that Steffi was a living, breathing wreck, and that Ridge was actually pulling for her to become his daughter-in-law. Steffi called Hope garbage and finally referred to her as a, a pathetic little slut because she refused to fall for the Logan hype. With a quiet clap, Hope inquired if Steffi was attempting to pass for Stephanie Forrester at this point. Steffi shrugged, thinking that perhaps she was. Hope stated Steffi was sick and that she would live to regret it since she was standing there grinning over the destruction of her and Thomas's family. Hope reiterated her forecast that Steffi will regret it, but she was unsure of how or when. When Zend Forrester Dominguez went to the beach house to discuss work with R.J. Forrester, he discovered Luna Nozawa by herself. Though Zend hoped Luna wasn't still anxious about their night together, it was clear that she was. Luna discussed remaining silent in order to preserve the relationship between Zend and R.J. as cousins, but she considered giving R.J. the truth on a daily basis. Luna emphasized that she knew and didn't blame Zend, reiterating that nothing would have occurred if he had known about the special mints. Zend inquired if there was a part of Luna that thought about him and wondered whether they may be a good fit, even if he wasn't trying to put her on the spot. According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Luna's sentiments for Zend might evolve over time. Follow us for updates on her perspective and any developments about their own possible romance. Today's next episode. Preview for The Bold and the Beautiful, week of April 1st. Steffi is enraged that Finn is going to Sheila's memorial. Lauren Fenmore Baldwin is set to participate in another special crossover with The Young and the Restless, according to the spoilers for the week of April 1st to 5th, in the promo video for The Bold and the Beautiful. Lauren and Sheila Carter have a terrible past, so it's good that BNB will include Lauren in honoring her former foe's most recent passing. Lauren is going to have a drink with Eric Forrester and hopes that this time, Sheila's unfortunate fate holds true. Lauren would undoubtedly raise a glass to Eric's proposal of a toast and his admission that Sheila is no longer a threat. Deacon Sharp, who will organize a memorial service for Sheila and gently handle her coffin, will be in a significantly more solemn mood. Deacon will want to give Sheila a decent send-off, but he'll find it difficult to get other visitors to attend her service. 
Sheila would have preferred that John Finn Finnegan attend, so Deacon will give Finn an update on the memorial and encourage him to come. Finn might not guarantee anything, but a part of him will want to say goodbye to Sheila and find a way to go on. Steffi Forrester hopes that Finn will turn down the memorial invitation as soon as she finds out about it. Steffi will give Finn a hard time because he'll say he might go. Steffi will never understand how Finn could have ever considered going after Sheila almost put them both out of their misery that evening in the alley. But Finn will remind him that Sheila was still his biological mother, so he'll feel compelled to make some sort of remembrance. Finn will choose to accept Deacon's invitation despite Steffi's outburst and simply bear her fury for it. Liam Spencer weighs in on the memorial scenario in this week's BNB preview, sensing that Hope Logan is thinking carefully about accepting her own invitation. Hope will hear from Deacon, who is pleading with her to come help him through this trying time. Liam will contend that since no one else is expected to attend, Hope does not need to go. Hope would argue that her father won't be alone, and that's exactly why she has to be there. Naturally, Hope and Finn seem to have the perfect opportunity to bond as the sole visitors at the memorial that Deacon is throwing. As Hope has promised to exact revenge on Steffi, our forecasts indicate that Finn may be involved in helping her do so. According to spoilers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi might regret ending Hope's life. Tune in to find out what terrible news is coming. Today's next episode. Spoilers for Monday, April 1's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful, Liam's compassion stuns Hope, while Steffi is ridiculed by Finn's accusation spoilers for Monday, April 1's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful indicate that John Finn Finnegan will learn more about Thomas Forrester's breakup with Hope Logan and his departure for Paris with Douglas Forrester. Steffi Forrester won't feel sorry for Hope, even though Finn will show compassion for her, she will believe Hope received what she deserved. Naturally, Finn has never been a huge fan of Hope and Thomas's relationship, but he had very different motivations than Steffi for wanting them to break up. Finn feels that Hope deserves better, but Steffi thinks Thomas deserves better. Although Finn is happy that Hope and Thomas are no longer together, he will not be happy with Steffi's actions during and after their breakup. Finn will accuse Steffi of trying to rekindle the tension between Logan and Forrester and think it is unjust to point Hope's losses in her face. Finn will find it difficult to comprehend why Steffi is stirring up trouble and using Hope's split as fodder for further arguments, as it would appear as though she truly wants to resume their quarrel. It's possible that Steffi will counter that she's simply fed up with Logan's believing they can bully Foresters. When Finn seems to be siding with Hope in this whole situation, you can guarantee that Steffi will be irritated. Hope may ask Liam Spencer to gloat and give a, I told you so, now that Thomas has injured her when she finds out about her heartache in the interim. But when Liam truly cares for Hope and supports her when she needs it most, Hope won't know what hit her. Liam will be unhappy that Hope is in pain even though he is relieved that Thomas and Hope are no longer together. He might also argue that Thomas was wrong to treat Douglas in such a way. According to other BNB spoilers, Zend Forrester Dominguez will watch for Luna Nozawa's response. Luna will have to reveal her ideas now that Zend has inquired about her thoughts about him and whether they would make a good couple. Zend is a fantastic guy for someone else, Luna could insist. Perhaps Luna will even concede that if events had turned out differently and she hadn't fallen in love with R.J. Forrester first, they could have been a nice match. What what does it imply when spoilers for the bold and the beautiful state that Luna and Zend will land in a dreamlike setting? Will there be any imagining that makes Luna feel differently, maybe? Keep checking back for additional guesses on what's next for Luna and Zend, as RJ might happen to stroll in during a heated time and wonder what's happening. Thanks for watching this videos, please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.